from the uh, page one, two, and three, right? Uh, let's look at page four. I don't know what happened to page four, right? Now, you have measured the angles practically, and you have actually seen that the angle at the center is always double the angle at the uh, circumference, right? And this law is, is true as long as you're dealing with uh, a, a, a circle, right? The next law that we learned was uh, angle in a semicircle is always 90, okay? Now, there is a law number three. I just want you to go over, over that. I think you measured the uh, angles on page four. Maybe just ch uh, check the page four now. You may find that, okay? Page four, uh, there are some angles to measure. Well, it says measure the angles marked, marked with a, a circle, a small one, and a star and a dot. Listen, these can be actually letters. It can be A, B, C, or X, Y, Z but I chose uh, symbols rather than uh, letters. Uh, I don't know whether you measured or not. I have done the work here. All those angles seem to be same, like it's a 46, 46, 46, according to me. I tried and measured the next one also here. That came to be 90, that also was 90. Then I tried the last one, that, came, uh, that comes to be 27, 27, 27, right? I just want you to uh, concentrate uh, more in this case here right what kind of a rule can we actually make from this uh, watch this screen now watch the screen I'll just take you a little bit close watch this screen carefully I got the points M and K what if I join those two points uh, can you tell me that the name of that line please what is the name of this line go back to the keywords well right a, a line joining any two points on the uh, circumference, we call that as a chord, okay? So please watch, MK is a chord, uh, right? This is a chord. Now, do you all agree if I say that angle there is made by this? This angle also is made by the same chord and that angle also made by the same chord. So can we say that angles made by the same chord are equal. Angles made by the same chord are equal in the same segment. Now that's the most important thing. Don't, don't go at the back there. Angles in the same segment are equal made by the same chord. Okay. Now, is that true in this, in this case? Let's just see. We know the P, the O, the Q. P O Q can also be called as a chord but uh, it is passing through the center point and therefore we call it as diameter, right? Now, these two angles are made by the same line here. So those two are also equal. Now let's go and check the first one. The first one, AB, this was AB. Let's just join the line AB, right? AB, we, we join the points A and B to make the line a, B, and we call it a chord. Do not forget the keywords, please. Now, this chord is making an angle 46. The same chord is making an angle 40, 46. The same chord is making an angle 46. Okay, so all these three are made by the same chord, and therefore, they are equal. Even if you choose a point here, and then, and then join, and then join with B and A, join with B, and join with A, that angle also will be 46, all right? That also comes back to 46. So the, the rule that you need to know now is angles in the same segment are equal. If not, angles made by the same chord are equal in the same segment. So uh, I think you, you all have made a small note based on these three rules. So we, we finished rule number one and rule two, then rule three, we just did now. Okay, so you can write in your own words. Now, these things you should not uh, for, for, forget because when you solve the, the sums, you may have to apply all these rules. Okay, now, without wasting much time, let's just move to uh, questions now, right? Okay, so far we measured 
angles, lots and lots and lots, lots of them on page one, two, three, four. Now, we made three rules. Tell me, what's the first one? Angle at the center is double the angle at the uh, circumference. The second rule was angle in a semicircle is a right angle, right? Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Number three, we just did now, uh, it says angles in the same segment are equal, all right? Or angles made by the same chord in the same segment are equal, okay? Once you know these three rules, we can actually go ahead and solve some sums, right? One more thing. While we solve these sums, you may need to recall the facts that you learned in key stage one, key stage two, uh, in your year five, year six, year seven. Uh, you may need to know to, to actually solve these sums. Tell me about a straight angle. What is a straight angle? 180. What is a right angle? 90, you all, you all know. What is a reflex angle? Come on, come on, come on. A reflex angle, right? It should be more than 180. Please listen, more than 180 and then less than 360. All right. Uh, tell me about some of the three angles in a triangle. A triangle has got three, uh, three ang ang angles. Uh, how much do you get when you, when you add those three? Come on, think. It should be 180. Great. So, some of the three angles of a triangle is 180. Uh, so these are the basics we may need to apply in solving those sums. All right, good luck and let's see question number one. Now turn to page five. If you turn to page number five, you will actually see uh, sums now, right? I'll take all those thing, things away. Uh, uh, there is no ex exercise as such. 